Hello guys. Um, I hope this is working. Uh, this is a little demo of the ERS game I made uh, last semester, and I have updated it with graphics from the world ends with you. Um, this is just to show the game itself um, that it works, that it could be nice if it had some graphical polish. So this is a video trying to recruit potentially an artist to help me with this project. Anyways, so new game. Sorry, you get to choose between two characters. Uh, I have Neku and Beat here. Let's go, Neku. Loading. Uh, this is showing that uh, story can be told in a very visual novel style way. Click, 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 and the game is loading. Continue. And this is the game itself. Um, we're playing Egyptian Rescue with a sort of RPG twist on it, which is. Um, well, not really RPG, but it's, uh, like a stat battle system to assign it. So you have a flip button here and a slap button here. Uh, the green bars represent your health, and the number represents how many cards are left in your deck. Uh, the game, uh, you win by knocking out all of your opponent's health or making your opponent run out of cards. This arrow here indicates the turn. So flip. Uh, the rules of Agent Pernod's Crew is pretty simple. So right there, I flipped the queen, and then two face cards came up. From, you know, number of cards came up from my enemy, so that means I win. Whenever a face card, a royal card, gets played, the next player has to play a number of cards in a sequence, hoping to get another face card. And if they don't, I win the pile. And also, if a pattern, which is two cards in a row of the same value, or two cards in a sandwich, show up, I can slap it and win that pile. I deal damage according to how high the pile is when I win the pile or when I slap it. And slapping will deal normal damage, whereas collecting cards from a royal will only do half damage. So, flip. So, I played a 5, he plays a king, so that means I need to play 3 more cards. So play the first card, nothing. 10, 5, nothing happened, he wins the pile. So, he plays a 4, I play a 3, play an ace, I have to play 4 cards in a row now. Oh, another ace. Um, right there I said he had slapped. I didn't slap it in time. I am on my trackpad, so I cannot move the mouse very fast. But uh, this will be played with presumably both thumbs while holding the device horizontally. So flip. Oh, two sixes. I slap. Seven. Nine. I'll just try to beat this level now. Uh, and see, it did more damage this time since the pile was significantly higher. The jack means only one card gets played afterwards. Play nothing. So he wins that pile. Okay, and I win. So tap to continue. It's loading, blah blah blah. And now we get to the second stage. The enemies get progressively harder in the fact that their reaction time gets increased. The first enemy had a reaction time of I think 0.9 seconds and they will continuously get stronger and stronger. So, flip. As you can see, he got faster. And he won that pile because... Yay, jacks. Jacks are okay. Ah, ah, damn it, I didn't slap in time. Well, it's not I didn't slap in time, I slapped here. And, um, yeah, playing with a mouse is obviously different than if I had the phone actually in my hand. And I can vouch for this because I've tried it. And um, the game does get somewhat reasonably difficult just on a reaction area level. Also, if you slap and you're not supposed to slap, so here's an 8 4. If I mistook this for 8 8 and I slapped it, I would take a t penalty of um, 5 health. So Neku has lower health but higher attack, while Beat has higher health but lower attack. That's the difference. And the enemies do progressively have more and more damage and more and more health. As well as better reaction times. King, so I play three cards. Ace, so I don't have to play any more cards, he has to play four. And I win that because I played an ace, he played four non-face cards, so I win the entire pile. 
And see, his, his pile is getting smaller and smaller because when I win the pile, I collect the pile. So if, other than beating him by taking his health down, if I collect all of his cards, I also win by default. Which is how the original game of ERS is won, but it takes a long time if you ever play the game. Because there's a lot of back and forth that can potentially happen in the actual game of ERS. Uh, damn you, Lollipop. Yay, Jax. Everybody loves Jax. Uh, okay. Damn it. Come on. Oh, slap. Win. Yada, yada, yada. Um, but yeah, this is all the stuff. I didn't really do this stuff yet. I didn't think I would actually win that on video. But yeah, there you go. Um, if you do lose, um, it just says, right there, I'll show you. It just says you lose, and you go back to the um, starting screen. But I mean, that's irrelevant. That's just all polish work. But the game does work, everything's working. So I'm currently looking for somebody to help me write a simple story about two characters and with some simple uh, enemies uh, in that style, as well as uh, drawing the characters themselves, obviously. But um, yeah, thank you for your time, and I hope to hear from you soon. My contact will be below.